All right, so that's okay. the combination. What did she say? Did she want CPA? She proctored the test and then that's all. Okay, so she's taking on those two too, right, um, No, because I have these guys, so unless she's doing it for Mrs. Adams. That's all right, you got echoed. <laughs> So now we get to hear Mrs. Wheeler for the start of it. I'll figure out if I can how to edit and chop the first few seconds. All right, so this is module three content. So I'm just going to run through what we're doing for the next three days so you have kind of a, an idea of, of my plan, knowing that all plans are flexible to a degree, right? Okay. Um, but this is what the plan is for the next three days. So um, most of it is going to be based right off this reading assignments and uh, PDF here, and I'll go through it. There are some things within each folder. Each folder is the concept and then the exemplars within, right? So there's something in all of them. And I'll go through what's posted here is the easiest way to run through it. So with this one, I'm going to make it a little smaller. Can you still see it? Yep. Good? OK. So today, so from 10 to 11.30, we have class. So we're going to be going through development, program development, including nutrition, dental, and immunization. And we're going to be going through family. That's what we're doing in the next hour and a half. And yes, we'll get out on time. But yes, I will use all the time. <laughs> all right. But at 11.30, we'll be done. And what I'm also going to talk now about what I want you to think about for next week. Okay? So today, what hopefully what you did is spend a little bit of time. I don't know how to test. So most of this review is kind of what we already did in lab. Right? So infant, toddler, preteen, school age, adolescent. Those are the groups that we're going to be going over. And we have... I think for school activities, maybe it's cement in a little bit that we'll be doing. And then we're going to talk about family. Did anyone get a chance to look at that video? Yeah. Okay. It's a two minute video and I'll show it in class. All right. But that link is there so that you can watch that. That's under the family tab. The other thing that's under the family tab is the PowerPoint. I'll be going through it a little bit, but it's going to be with family. I want to talk about family. I want to talk about how that impacts peace, how that impacts the family centered care that we need to give. So that's all going to be part of today, okay? So there is something for next week that I would like you to work on, okay? There's not a great section in either of the readings about uh, culture <coughs> and diversity as it relates to doing care for kids. So each of you get to pick whichever one you want. I recommend kind of to today deciding what you would like as far as culture to look up. This can be from personal experience, what you're sharing. But you also need to bring in one resource. So when you talk about an evidence-based article, where do you find it? EBSCO host. EBSCO host is a great suggestion. Where else? Where do you really go? <laughs> Google. <laughs> do you not? <laughs> and is that fine? Sure. You also know that you can go to Google Scholar and it will bring up articles, not yeah. just internet sources, right? Just type in Google Scholar, and it's just like you have Google Images for all the photos and all the images and Google videos. Mm -hmm. You also have Google Scholar where you can go and get an article. But going to the library and looking, you know, just doing a database, you don't have to physically actually go to the library, <laughs> right? But there's a great database that you guys have. There are nursing databases. CINAHL is a good one. And that is free and through the library here. CINAHL, uh, C-I-N-A-H-L. AHL. So I want you to come with one article about giving care to kids that are of a culture other than what you have, right? So other than your culture. So we're going to talk today before you go. I think I'll have you pick so that we're not all doing one because it's just like we want to hear about all those different groups. There are <coughs> five listed, six listed. So that made two people per culture. I am also fine with you guys working together. If you guys want to, you have the same culture and you have time and you want to work together, fine. But I'm not making it a group project. If you want to do it all by yourself, that's okay too. <laughs> all right. But bring something. We're going to spend some time next week talking about what you found in those articles. So bring one copy of your article. You don't need to bring copies for everybody, but you're going to be sharing what you found in that article about the culture, okay, and how you get care. If you can make it about peace, if there's not something about pediatrics, find one about family. So that's what we're doing in preparation for next week. We also have next week's infection. We're going to be talking about our test committee and some special items. We're also going to be talking about <coughs> violence and child abuse. Anybody done Stewards of Children yet? Yes? All right. Think about Stewards of Children based on what you have this week. I don't know.
know what the rest of your life looks like this week, right? It is not due before class, but it will help you in our conversation next week. It is, there's a place on your calendar, is it like the 21st or something, that it is due because it is a requirement for clinical, it counts as three hours of clinical, right? That you're doing. So you've already done, tell us about now that was the port two exam. <laughs> Don't tell us the content. Tell us about the experience of doing stewards of children. Uh, it was it was just fun. It was user friendly. It took me literally two hours, but you know, doing it, I was doing it for the right here and there. And we um, we go through several minutes of listening and, and reading, and we answer a couple few questions, and five questions that are, you know, you know. Post test. Post test. Yeah. Yeah. Post test. Right. Yeah. So we have to do eighteen minutes of post test. You can certainly go back and watch things as you need to. Don't let this, it's not a hard test. I think so. Wow, that's really interesting. <laughs> wow, it was two it tests ago, wasn't it? Did you think it's not hard. When, when do you have to bring a copy of the... Bring a copy of the certificate, right? It's an option to email. Okay. The other thing I would recommend is keeping a copy of that certificate for you because now you have something on your resume already. Why? Because stewards of children and child abuse um, training is something highly recommended, especially in slow and lower as a result of Dr. Bradley and his insights, etc. Right? So that's certainly a piece of, look, I've done this certification, right? When you take other classes or you go to a training or you go to a seminar, right? start writing these things down. Right? Because that, that's going to lead to make you stand out on your resume. I'll do my little soapbox. Um, ACLS, Advanced Cardiac Life Support. You do not need to be an RN to take that course. So if you find yourself like a woman by the summer, <laughs> it is not required to be an RN. You need to be ER with ELS, but you do not need advanced cardiac life support. You find class, you take advanced cardiac life support, and now you have another resume builder. I'm already ACLS certified. Can I have a job? Right? Do those kind of things. If you're doing volunteering, put it down, right? It did carry over to one more page. I moved it up, like I said, information, uh, if your content on Friday 15th memoir, just, we're going to be covering that so that we have more time on the 24th. The other piece of class next week, uh, we will be starting at 8.30, we're done at 11, so that at 11.30 you can review and can see it immediately. Okay? So that you can see what your mistakes are so that we can fix them where you have your assignment and before you have exam three. Right. All right. And so what we're going to do on the 24th, because I have these three weeks in a row, that 24th, we're going to go through oxygenation, cellular regulation, intracranial regulation, safety. The other part that we are going to do that day, and it might be something if you have time to build a little past 1130, because you know I can fill any amount of time with teaching you things, <laughs> but we will be doing at least 15 minutes of exam prep. Okay, so exam three, we'll do some in class, we'll do 15 minutes, but if you have more questions, I'm going to stay until you're done. Okay, so if you have more questions, you want to stay past 1130, completely optional, no new content, but that will be an opportunity to ask any questions that you have on exam three. Okay, so we're going to, yes, class time, but also if you need more after. Okay, 24. I will talk next week. We also have Wednesday lab. Right? So we have Tuesday class and Wednesday lab. The Wednesday lab, the half of it is going to be um, asthma simulation, because you know the topic. But we don't cover asthma until the next week. Might be good to get that reading done before, just so it makes more sense. And I'll be talking about it in class. Uh, if we can get to some of the asthma in class, that's great. And I don't want you to feel like the same way you have to know everything about asthma, right? Sometimes it's better to try it first and see what you don't know. So then we'll make tie that in with the next week's lecture and, and bringing that all together. Okay? Questions? All right. So, what are we doing today? We're going to start with uh, growth and development. I did bring a few resource books. Um, the ones that I like. Your readings um, has both your Bob reading and your API reading. Um, both are good, but your API book has a chapter on each age bracket. So there's a chapter on infant, chapter on toddler, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that might be this 
have a, a nice outline of the things. There, it does have the same topics in Bob. I just like the setup a little bit better in the BCI for, for that. Um, the family is, is either one was fine. Uh, uh, the family said was there in the previous assignment there. Uh, but you take a look through. So to help you take a look through, I'm going to have you get in group of two. I think we're all set on your work. Does anybody? Well, we can do two ways. So groups of two, we have five groups. So my plan was two for each group, and then we need to have all of our age groups covered. Is it, does someone want to work by themselves, or does a, a group of three want to tackle two in here? show you after we're done echoing <laughs> in this part here so I can pop out to the other group and I can do that as well but I'm going to show you a couple things in API as we have time today that are helpful this is not required but your growth and development templates are there so what you're going to do is you're writing your notes and I did it double-sided but you only need to do one side for the age group and of your group so we're going to spend about 15 minutes so here physical cognitive age appropriate activities etc some of the others, you do not need to fill in all the squares of this, but this is going to help you. If you guys are fine with it, what I would like to do is when you're done making your age group, I would like to make a copy for everybody so you have all of them. Okay? <laughs> right? So I'll do that during a break. But don't just fill in the boxes. That's a little boring and that's what a textbook is for, right? So here's how we're going to tie it in. You guys are going to plan a birthday party for the age group that you are working on. So if you have a in case you're planning a uh, half, half year party or a one year old party for the infant, right? For your toddler, you're planning a two year old's birthday party. For your school age, you're planning um, a preschool, I should say. Let's do a four year old. If you're doing school age, you get to pick somewhere between kindergarten and sixth grade, or if you're planning an adolescent <coughs> birthday party for them, right? So, what kind of things do you need to think about when you're planning a birthday party? Take it from there. And then you guys are going to report out to us what are important things milestone-wise, activity-wise for that age group, and tell us about the birthday party that you planned for that age group. Yeah. Okay? You pick the boy or girl, make up a name, make up a scenario, make up a theme, however you want to take it. There are textbook resources here if you need them. Um, I made sure I brought Bob. I think I have another Bob available, so I can get that as well. Um, pull out your books. If you have a computer, use your resources. So you're going to find out the important things growth and development wise about that age group, plan a birthday party, and then you can tell us about it. Okay? 20 minutes? Plan a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, plan a wedding and a week. Birthday party? 20 minutes. You got it. <laughs> All right? So that's what we're going to do for the first part of this post to make growth and development a little more meaningful. All right? I think it makes sense.